have arrived to Doubletree Hilton, our hotel for a day. I will link below the website that we used for the hotel for a day. And this is one of the hotels that participates in the hotel for a day program because not every hotel does. So we will give you the, all the deets on that and let you know how the room was and all the amenities. First bump in the road at the hotel is the room's not ready. And our check-in time, I mean, we're, we're paying like $81.42 for six hours, supposed to be from 10 o'clock a.m. to 4 p.m., which was gonna be perfect because we need to leave for the airport about four, and the room's not ready. And this poor girl here had a line full of people and she's the only one at the desk. So Double Tree by Hilton at the convention center. It's a really nice place. However, uh, we may not have a room for, I don't know when. Uh, and she also said it would be a double bed. <laughs> it may be. Maybe a double bed. We're excited about that. We'll see when and what we end up with. Update on the room. Oh, these are my editing glasses. Lovely. <laughs> it is 1030 and we have a room. Okay, that's not bad. The check-in time was 10, 10 to 4. And so we'll be heading up uh, to the room, getting settled in. They have a hot tub, which JJ's knee is really needing. And my back is kind of needing, so we'll probably take advantage of that. And she recommended a good Cuban place for lunch. So let's go. 322. It's very nice for a day room and even for a night room before a cruise, I think. Right here on your left as you walk in, you have your closets and they do have the hangers and a hair dryer, it looks like back there, and a safe down here, and an iron and an ironing board. A few store and some storage room up there as well. You know, it is an older, I'll just start by saying that, a, a, an older hotel, or at least it hasn't been redone recently, but it's still very doable for, you know, again, pre-cruise night or post-cruise day. And I like this, that they have two mirrors. This one here with the coffee a maker and some water I figure. Let's see, those waters don't have costs on them, so they might be free, but I would check before you just open them. And then another mirror, of course, in the bathroom. And it looks like they have all the regular amenities here. Some storage place down here, like uh, most Hilton brand hotels, shower, looks to be sufficient you got your bar there and two soap holders and a regular shower head along with some uh, crab tree i think that's a good brand i've heard about that products you got your shampoo and your conditioner and your shower gel as we come back out of the restroom this is a joining room if you're here with family and you need more than one room room 322 is an adjoining room we have our big very big, big screen TV here in the room, along with a, what appears to be a man already in the bed, at least in my room, <laughs> in a queen size bed, it appears to be. And a it's, king. how comfortable? It's lovely. You think it's a king? Feels like a king. And he said it was more comfortable than our pre-cruise hotel bed. The plugs beside the bed are on the lamp, are simply three prong. However, there is a USB port in the alarm clock, which is the wrong time. It is currently 1038, not 938. The other side of the bed also has the same kind of lamp with one three prong plug and some storage in the nightstands if you're staying here for longer than just one night. The desk, again, showing a little age, but completely useful, practical for a one night stay, whether it's pre-cruise or post-cruise. The view out of this room <laughs> is very lovely, completely lovely of the roof. <laughs> and what appears to be tennis courts, or used to be tennis courts, may just be a parking lot. Anyway, we're not here for the view. We're here to rest and relax and probably use the hot tub and maybe the pool before our flight about five hours from now. Lunch time! Hungry! In Miami, uh, from our hotel for a day, we left. Actually, we asked the girl 
at the front desk about a local place that was really good. Cuban and, food. And she hit the nail on the head. This is Versailles. You see the name? And that lady right there at the desk is waiting on uh, to take people's names. And it is a 25 plus wait. You can show them the line. So, oh, I, did, I thought I did. Yeah, that's the line. I think that may be the line just to get your name on the list though. I'm not sure. It is. Right. Yeah, and the owner or manager or maitre d is coming out to call names. And he did say that was just like 25, 25 minutes. minutes. So uh, we took an Uber here. Yep. It was like $12, $13. $12, $13. The guy was tip. good, so we left him a nice tip. We were sharing a table with a woman, and it looked like it might be her mother. And she lives here now, and she was telling us, yes, Versailles, this place, is very good. But she also was saying this place right down here i'm not sure you can see it it's called la carreta la and then another word is c-a-r-r-e-t-a -R -R -E so it's two words la carreta it's also very good uh and it's just right across down the street so that's another good recommendation if you're in miami after or before a cruise and you want you know local cuban food versailles or la carreta two good places to try we are inside Versailles, and if JJ will just like a little bit, it is not what I expected. It is very cool though, I think. Kind of a cafe type environment, you know, no white tablecloths or anything. And uh, these are the menus. They are very busy on Sunday. Yes, extremely busy and extremely loud, so we probably won't do a lot of talking in here. We'll just let you know how the food is. Calamari for my lady. Let me introduce you to my... Oh my. Oh my. I can't do it. Let me introduce you to my little I friend. I am a calamari fan. I cannot do that. I cannot do the legs. I do these, which they're pretty good. They're not as crispy as I've had. Not the crispy-est calamari I've had. But this sauce is amazing. Happy Cuban dining. It's called breaded chicken melanase, melanase, something like that. And of course, uh, yellow rice and fried plantains. Uh, au gratin, of course, obviously, and no. Lots of mozzarella. I, no, I won't be eating all of it, but it does look good. And JJ got Cuban pot roast. Cuban pot roast is basically what it is. It's a B word. I can't remember what exactly it was on the menu. And white rice and plantain. If you've never eaten Cuban food or you're not familiar with the plantain, it's kind of like a banana and they grill it or roast it. What And what it does is it adds that you got the savory with the rice and whatever meat dish you have and then you have the sweet. It's a little bit sweet. So it adds kind of a... A very ideal. Oh, give me a word, JJ. Complimentation. Dichotomy. There you go. It's a. It's an ideal complement to the savory to have a little bit of sweet plantain. And they are glazed. They're wonderful. So I got some cafe cubano, which is a Cuban Cuban cap coffee, Cuban cappuccino, basically. And uh, we we're gonna share some flour. We're gonna share. Are, are, are we guess, supposed to I, share? I guess I'm going to order my own. Maybe. This is the best flan I've ever had in my life. It's the best flan ever. I, I don't know what better words to use. We, I've had flan before. We have a Mexican restaurant at home, which is a nice restaurant. And we're actually the chefs, the owner's chef, went and lived in Mexico and learn to cook there. It's really good flan. It's excellent flan there. This is phenomenal flan. This is a plate of dessert heaven. We came back to the room after the best Cuban meal we've ever had. I mean, seriously, Versailles. Yeah, if you're in Miami, you have to go to Versailles. And I do want to tell you all a little more about the um, hotel for a day. Um, so I'm going to look up everything and tell you all about how to get that done because so far, I mean, we're going back to take a nap, maybe down to use the hot tub a little bit before we have to leave for the airport. So it's just very relaxing and easy to do. So I'm going to tell you all about it.
The website we used for this hotel for a day was hotelsbyday.com. Just the word hotels and then bydayy.com. And I'm going to show you what the website looks like. So the opening screen is the home page, Hotels by Day, and you have the opportunity to put in the location you want to go. In our case, it was Miami. And then you pick a day. So I'm going to just pick uh, a day coming up, and then you hit the search, the little search button, and the list comes up. You can sort by nearest or earliest check-in or latest check-out or price range, high and low, or top pick. So I like to sort by low price to high price because obviously budget is usually a concern for us. So if you do that, um, it shows your listing here and you can see the pricing for that day and then if you want to access a specific listing, a specific hotel, so you can click on the location and then see the rooms and the pool and the amenities and whether cancellation is free, what the amenities are for a day room, what the hours are for a day room, which is very important. And I will say this morning we were really disappointed that the room wasn't ready at 10 a.m., but it was ready by 10.30. And 10 a.m. is kind of an early check-in time for most hotels. Like if you usually just go to a hotel for the night, usually check-in is around you know noon to two, sometime around there. So 10 a.m. for the hotel by day it can be kind of early. So we, get, we gave them a little grace. We were a little irritated when we got here, but you know, it was 30 minutes. We lived through 30 minutes. Plus, you know, you got cookies, free, hot, warm chocolate chip cookies at the Double Tree. You can also see the description of the hotel along with the cancellation policy and what's not included. For instance, in this hotel, self-parking is available for $7 and valet parking for $12. Pet and service animals are welcome with a non-refundable deposit of $75. So be sure and read the specifics about whatever hotel it is that you're interested in. They also have a map available so that if you want to click on that and see kind of what other things are around your hotel, you kind of know, you can go in or out on the map and you can tell you know, how close you are to the freeway or other things that are on the map. There might be a couple of time frame choices, like this double tree, for instance, had a 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then our 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So depending on when your flight is, you might get stay a little longer. The 10 to 6 option was $79 that you pay up on check-in and our 10 to 4 option was $69. So once you find the option that you want, you simply click on the button that has the the price on it and it says $69 USD pay later and then you fill out primary guest and if there's any kind of message for the hotel you need to leave you can do that and then it gives you the total price the occupancy taxes added to the $69 room rate were $10.35 and the service fee was $2.07 making this hotel for six hours during the day $81.42 which we thought was a pretty good rate to just sit and relax and use the amenities if we wanted to and get free chocolate chip cookies. So once you have the hotel selected you want and you see the price and it's acceptable, then you just hit the confirm now button and it will give you a heads up if you haven't filled out any of the information and that and then it will send you an email confirmation. It will not charge you and it will tell you you're not being charged now you won't be charged until you check in and they will ask you for all of your information and then you can give them payment at the time of check-in. You do have the option to book now with a credit card as opposed to book now pay at property. So if you just wanted to pay with the credit card um, on the website, you surely can do that. You can also pay with loyalty points if you're a member of a hotel's VIP program then you can usually pay with any hotel uh, through the loyalty points as well. Then be sure when you check in to have your confirmation email ready at the desk so that you can tell them 
who you are and if there are any questions you can show them your confirmation email and they will check you in so be prepared be flexible you've just come off a cruise where probably you've had to be flexible for the entire cruise depending on what the situation was and what the ship was and what the capacity was and all that if you're cruisers you completely understand those situations so just continue that flexibility and that little bit of grace with your hotels by day staff as well when you get to your post cruise hotel and if anything about this video has been helpful to you make sure that you like and subscribe in the big red button below i am in the mood for love simply because you're near me she's not gonna put this on the video so it doesn't matter what i sing hi y'all hotel for a day was overall the best decision for us it cost us the 81 and some change and then an uber from the cruise port to the hotel one uber and then an uber to lunch and an uber back to the hotel yeah the huge pro of the hotel for a day was no stress once we left the cruise terminal because we'll tell you about Ooh. that in a second when we got to the hotel like we knew then okay we're kind of on a little more solid ground like we didn't have to like last year we rented a car and we you know you have to have somewhere to go then you're not gonna like sleep in your car in a parking lot like you're not gonna do that probably although i mean you could it's your rental car technically miami please throw your window down yeah so you have to have somewhere to go and something to do if you're gonna rent a car. So we didn't have to do that. We found this awesome place for lunch, which you already heard about and saw. And then we came back here. We had a little bit of a nap too. And now we're waiting for the next shuttle from this hotel, which is free, to the airport. So make sure uh, that too, I did not mention that when I was going through hotelsbyday.com for you. but. You know, it's helpful. It just saves you some money if you find a hotel that has an airport shuttle also. Right. The chaos at the cruise terminal was crazy. That terminal has no organization. Once you get to the baggage pickup, it was it was crazy. People, thank the Lord, because cruisers are generally polite and good people in our experience. People were generally expl helping explain to others, oh, the line actually, you know, starts way back there and snakes around and this is the this is the front part of the line and if you're cutting over, you'd be, you know, I mean, people understood and they were like, oh, and they went to the wherever the back of the line was. Well, there were no signs or anything to explain that. Yeah, it was very frustrating. And then we got out to the curb to call our Uber. Oh my, that was the second set of chaos because it was like herding cat people were out in the street where the ubers should be pulling up which blocked traffic lanes. and so that meant the uber was still in the traffic lane which blocked traffic and and they did have employees out there trying to direct traffic they were trying to do the job but as soon as they would tell people to back up then people would move forward again it was it was just chaos be prepared had four ships in port at one time so Right. There were, you know, taxis on one side and then Uber and Lyft on the other side and just regular, I don't know who would be driving by the the cruise terminal for regular traffic. Drivers jockeying. I'm sure there was some regular traffic. Drivers yeah. jockeying for position. And, and as he said, four ships. So there were people coming to get on the ship and then all of us that were getting off the ships. It was crazy. As they say, pack your patience, getting off the ship. And this is probably going to be the end of the road for us because the rest of our well, trip... Well, for the video. not Hopefully not for us. <laughs> I'm prepared road. for heaven, but I'm not ready. <laughs> end of the road. Yeah. Not the end of the road. Not the end. For, yeah, for this vlog. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and share with folks. And make sure that you put any comments down below and we will answer them. We got down to the front desk to check out of our hotel for a day. And they discounted our stay. It ended up being $77.97 instead of 81 94. So they did discount it since they did not have our room ready at 10 o'clock. Even better. Be blessed. Peace.